Hey guys, this is Bardcore, and this is the second video in my video series explaining how to use Summoner's War Exporter and Summoner's War Optimizer. In the last video, I told you guys what both of those tools are and showed you where to find them. Um, in this video, I'm going to be covering how to use Summoner's War Exporter to pull your profile data, and then how to uh, import that into Summoner's War Optimizer. So once you've downloaded Summoner's War Exporter, uh, you can simply launch it. It launches into a pretty basic um, window. I've actually already got one launched here. Um, this is what it looks like when you launch it. It's uh, pretty simplistic. Um, the only thing you're going to want to do before you jump into this is you're going to want to make sure that whatever device you're playing Summoner's War on is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as this computer. So once you've done that, uh, you can actually just go ahead and click Start Proxy, which is this button. I already have mine started, but it'll say Start Proxy for you. Um, you can click Start Proxy. Uh, after that, you're going to want to go to the help page. If you don't, if this is your first time doing this, which I assume it is if you're watching the tutorial, you're going to want to go to the help page. And uh, Exandro actually has pretty in depth written instructions on how to connect your device. I only know how to do it for Android. I assume it's similar for iPad. I'll give you guys some brief instructions, but if you're at all confused, I really suggest reading through these step by step instructions because they're really great. Uh, basically, what you're going to do is you're going to go edit your devices Wi-Fi connection uh, go to the you know you can long press on it or go to options and then go to the advanced options and there's an option called proxy you're gonna wanna ch choose manual for that drop-down menu option once you've done that you can insert this uh, number into the proxy's name and this number into the proxy's port and what that will do is when you reconnect to that Wi-Fi network it will uh, allow you to connect essentially to this program. That's a way to think about it. Um, after you've done that, you're going to want to make sure Summoner's War is closed. Uh, make sure that you have internet on the device, um, which will mean that you are successfully connecting to the proxy. And if you can have internet with those edited settings, that means that everything is good. And then you're going to want to relaunch Summoner's War. And when you relaunch Summoner's War, what will happen is on this log screen here, uh, you'll get a notification that it has successfully saved your profile data um, into a file called a JSON file, and you'll see that in a second as I'm connecting. And there we go. So it saved my profile data to this JSON file. This is what you need to import into Summoners War Optimizer and it's essentially a data file that contains a list of all your monsters, their levels, all your runes, and all your rune stats, and all your runes levels. So it's a snapshot of your current profile, essentially. Um, this file is saved, I don't remember where the default location is, but in the settings tab here, you can actually choose where you'd like uh, the file to be saved to, or you can find where it ha has already been saved to if you didn't change that beforehand. So once you do that, you can decide to leave this program up or you can close it. It doesn't matter. Um, it is worth noting that if you stop this proxy or if you close the program, your device will no longer have internet. You have to go back to the Wi-Fi settings and change it back from uh, proxy manual to no proxy or to whatever the device settings were before. If you have some elaborate internet settings, I don't want to tell you what to do, but uh, make sure you change it back uh, to wherever it was before if you want to have uh, internet access in this device. Um, so my uh, JSON file was saved here in this folder I have called Swex files on my desktop. Once I have this file, I can launch uh, Summoner's War Optimizer. Now I have the desktop app because I'm running Windows 10. Um, if you do not have Windows 10, you have access to the uh, website version, which is at tool.swap.1. You can also just Google Summoner's War uh, Optimizer and it'll come up, I think, as the first result. So they're identical. Uh, both versions. The only difference is that the web web version's performance is limited because it's in a web browser, but the desktop version and web version have the same UI. So anything I do on one, if you're following along on the other, you can totally press all the same buttons and click all the same stuff. So this is the uh, the import screen. You can tell because on the left hand side when you're going between screens, it's a little up arrow and down arrow, and it says import via JSON file. So you're going to go ahead and click pick a file and you're going to find the folder you have your JSON file stored in. You're going to select yours and you're going to say open. And once it's queued up here, 
you could click import right now to import all your data. I'm going to suggest a few options that are pretty easy to choose. Um, by default, replace in storage with star and don't import Rainbow and Devilmon as selected. If you have a bunch of three stars you don't want to import because they're three star food, you can choose this option and maybe change it to four if you only want to import four, five, and six stars. Um, you could use don't import monsters without runes. You have a bunch of options for wh how you can import things. Um, I'd be careful importing too much or limiting the import options too much because then you might lose monsters uh, from the import that you actually wanted to work with. So. Uh, once you've picked all your options, you just click import, and it'll tell you total imported runes, 316, total imported monsters, 100. Awesome. So now we have our data in Summoners or Optimizer. That's actually all I'm going to cover in this video. In the next video, I will cover the basic uses of Summoners or Optimizer. It's a very complex tool, so the next couple videos I'll be going into how to use it ideally, but next video I'll just be covering the basics you need to know to get it working and optimize your runes. Um, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you guys in the next video.